Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, I got a little bit of a wood porking project to do today. Um, when I uh, moved Flash to my house in California many years ago, I built her what I called her winter home. It was basically, it was a, a wooden box that existed under the patio cover that she would sleep in when she hibernated in the winter. And uh, uh, when, I, when I moved here, I brought her summer home with me and that's here, but the winter home stayed in California. It was at my parents' house when Pe Flash was living there. And then it went to Beth's house when uh, Flash moved to Beth's house. But when I moved to Flash here, uh, I decided to leave Flash's winter home because one, I didn't really have room for it in the car. And two, it had been it had been in existence for probably 20 years and it was kind of battered and worn out and also it was really designed to fit uh, in underneath the patio cover of my house in California and there's nothing that looks right with it right now so I just made the decision that I would replace it and I'd build a new one well today we're gonna do that I got kind of a picture in my head of how I want this thing to work and I want it to be Enough that she can go in and hibernate when it's cool in the winter, but small enough so I can pick it up and move it into the garage if it gets really, really cold um, so she doesn't freeze to death. So I need to go to Home Depot, get some lumber, and uh, we're gonna build that today. So let's get going, let's go to Home Depot. Now I've created a rough image of what I want this thing to look like on a 3x5 card and basically what it's going to be, it's going to be a wooden box made out of 3 quarter inch plywood. It's going to be 12 inches tall, 18 inches wide, 24 inches deep and it's going to have a door on the front. Just a little door, something big enough that she can get in but uh, you know we'll keep some of the other critters maybe out. It'll be refuge also and I want to be able to close that door so that if I put her in the storm shelter, you know, she'll stay in there and not come out and wander around the garage and maybe get under the car and get run over or something like that. I don't want that happening. I also want to have the ability to open up the top. So the top is going to be on a hinge that will just kind of open up so that when she is in the garage, I can have the cover open, my, you know, have her blocked in the box because the front door is closed. But be able to monitor her, make sure she's okay, and uh, go from there. So that's kind of what I need to get. So I need to get the lumber. Uh, I've got some kind of general ideas of how I want the thing. I don't want the thing sitting on the ground, so I want to have some like legs underneath it. And I get some basic ideas how I want to do that. Um, and then I need to get some hinges and that kind of stuff. So like I said, let's go to Home Depot. But the first thing I got to do, I actually got to measure my tortoise to figure out how wide she is so I can make the door big enough for her. So I came out here to find Flash to kind of get some dimensions of how wide she was so I could make a door big enough to fit her. And I was looking around to try and figure out where she was. And she actually got to some place that I never anticipated that she would get. She's actually up on top of her cave. I have no idea how she got up here. But there she is hanging out on top of the cave. I'm guessing she maybe went through here and just climbed up the side. I never anticipated that as an issue. I figured that, you know, it, that she'd, uh, you know, just stay away from uh, being on top of there. But, yeah, there she is. So she's smarter than me. All right, so I have measured Flash. Uh, she is about six inches wide, so I'm gonna build the door about five inches tall, which will be more than enough for her to get into, and I'm gonna make it about eight inches wide, and with a uh, 18 inch wide, um, you know, side to side on the thing, that should mean that the door should be able to open up and back up against the other part of the wall. That'll make some more sense when we when we see the thing, but I now know what I need to uh, know to go buy the thing. So let's go to Home Depot. All right, so I've been to Home Depot. I picked up the supplies I needed and you'll have to bear with me. I'm in the garage. It's about 100 degrees out. So I got the garage door closed and I also have the swamp cooler going on here to try and keep it cool. I also have a fan uh, in the house actually blowing some of the air conditioning air out here. So hopefully I can use that to uh, control the temperature a little bit, make it habitable out here. But let me show you the stuff I've gotten for Flash's box. So I got two pieces of two by four plywood. It's three quarter inch plywood. I got this piece of two by two here, which is gonna be the 
uh, inside edges on the corners. Um, I got a couple of hinges for the top. Remember I told you I want to have the top kind of hinge up so I can uh, get inside of it. I also have a hinge, a smaller hinge, for the door that uh, Flash is going to use to get in. Because normally it will be up and open so she can come and go. But when I put her in the storm shelter, like during weather events or something like that, I want to have the ability to lock her in, basically, so she doesn't get out and get into the garage. I got a little magnetic latch mechanism that's going to hold uh, the, the entry door open for her uh, when it's not being used. I don't want it closing on its own. Got a little bit of wood glue. I got some deck screws that I'm going to use to uh, screw the thing together. Uh, so we're going to glue it and screw it, as uh, Mike Holmes used to say. And um, I also got these little uh, uh, adjustable feet pad that I'm going to put on the bottom of it because I actually want to keep the box off the ground because if it gets on the ground and gets water underneath it, it'll get all moldy and it'll rot away and it'll be no good. So first thing I got to do is cut the pieces to their proper length and I'm going to do that with my table saw. I'll catch up with you in a few. All right, so I got the lumber cut into the pieces that I'm going to use to assemble the project. Um, I've also identified what side I want on the outside and what side I want on the inside. Sorry Flash, you get to see the ugly side of the wood, but I don't think you're going to complain too much. Um, I, I've identified the front, the back, left side, right side, top, and bottom. Now I think before I go too much more into the assembly, what I want to do is I want to cut the door out of this one, because this is a door that uh, Flash is going to use to get in and out. So. I'm gonna, like I said before, it's gonna be seven inches wide and about five inches tall. So that should be enough for her to easily get in and out of the box. And uh, like I said, it makes sense to cut that now before I do any of the major assembly. All right, so this isn't attached in any way. It's just kind of uh, held together by clamps, but gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Uh, as I said, the door in the front will kind of swing open. I got a little magnet that's gonna hold the door open. Uh, the door on the top, haven't figured out yet how we'll hold that one open. We'll figure, we'll come up with something. Uh, but I think the next thing I want to do now is let's start putting the side pieces in and gluing this thing together. Okay, a couple hours have gone by and I've got basically all the walls put together. This is what I mean by kind of framing it up with the, the two by two in the middle. That's gonna just provide support. It's glued together, but then I drove screws into these uh, two by two pieces and that's gonna add the real strength. At this point, it isn't really heavy, which is kind of a concern I had. I wanted it to be something that I could easily move into the, uh, into the house if I had to, and this should easily do it. I might actually put a couple of handles on the side, make it look like a little coffin or something like that, but something I could use to pick it up and carry it. But I think it's coming together right now pretty well. Um, it's pretty plumb. I was using my uh, right angle pieces to make sure we got, got everything nice and plumb and seems to be doing pretty good at this point. I'm gonna let it dry off a little bit, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up this project again in the morning. So uh, we'll let this dry overnight, and uh, we'll pick it up then. So I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.